Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo IdeaPad 3, the 15 inch version. I'm going to show you how to get inside and access your CMOS battery in case you want to replace it or in case you're trying to reset BIOS this way. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have these four screws along the bottom edge here these three along the middle, and these three along the top. Once you get those screws out, you're going to take your small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal tends to scratch your cases much more than plastic ones. So take your small, flat, plastic pry tool and go across this seam all the way around to gently but firmly pry up your bottom case from the rest of your computer. Be careful not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage things inside the computer. Just keep it on the edge and go nice and slow. If you get stuck in a spot, stop and continue in the other direction. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a side note, guys, to your computer repair project, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either a mat or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to help you limit the chances of damaging anything in your computer when working on them. If you need help with any tools or supplies for your computer repair, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll be a list of things that I use in my shop. So here's your battery right here on the bottom right corner. If you wanna remove it, you have these three screws here. You have two on the left, one on the right, and then the battery plugs into the motherboard right there. Because there's not a lot of slack in this line, I had to remove the battery and then use it to pull out of that port there. Even though I always say to not pull from the wires, if you can help it, there's really no other way to pull that out. It's, it's really kind of hard. So I had to pull it out from the wires. So now after the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, we can proceed deeper into the computer. And this is your CMOS battery right here next to your RAM. As a side note, guys, if you're looking for a replacement CMOS battery, it will be in the same link down below that I mentioned earlier with the supplies in it. And I'll have all sorts of replacement parts and upgrade parts for this specific model computer included in that link. But now if you're trying to replace your CMOS battery, this is just held on by double-sided tape. So you can pop that off pretty easily. And it plugs into the motherboard right here with the black and red wires. And as usual, try not to pull on the wires if you can help it but manipulate the plug and you can grab it by your fingernails on either side of that plug or a pry tool to get that out. If you're here to reset BIOS manually because you're having trouble with BIOS, um, you don't have to physically remove the battery. You can leave that there. You just have to unplug it from the motherboard for 15, 20 seconds, and that should be sufficient to reset your BIOS system. As a word of caution, in most cases, that will not reset your BIOS password. It will only reset your BIOS settings. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you're having trouble with BIOS or you're having trouble with your computer starting or for whatever other reason you need help and this BIOS reset does not help, let me know what's going on um, in, in the comments down below and I can try to help you out if you are here to reset BIOS for any reason. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.